Hey, it's TX3 and Windmare here. Uh, I've got a, a Kimber 1911 here. <clears throat> I've had this gun for probably about three, four years now. It is the Custom 2. Um, Kimber gun to 45 ACP. Same as the mag. Um, it is the uh, five inch full size. Uh, it's got the, there's no, I haven't done any custom anything on this pistol. It's just a, a complete factory. The, um, this gun does get, uh, I do carry it <coughs> in the, typically in the winter time. I don't carry it much in the summer. We do live in Texas where it is kind of hot. Uh, the my one of my holsters that I really like is this. Uh, it's a I carry it about eh, it's about the five thirty position. It goes right above your where your typically where your wallet is where the actual uh, uh, the uh, grip goes. Um, it is a comfortable holster. The gun is, you know, it is pretty heavy since it is the five inch. Uh, but it is a good, pretty heavy holster. I have carried this holster a lot. I don't have any problems at all with it. The one thing that you do have to have with these pistols is you got to have a good, a good belt. This is a. Uh, one thing to do. Galco, and it is the double thickness um, gun belt. Uh, I would definitely recommend if you're going to carry any pistol to have one of those. The other thing I do have is I have one of the Miami holsters um, for carrying this gun as well. And that, uh, depending on, again, the weather and what you can wear, if you can wear like a, maybe they wear like a button up or a, a, like a polo. If you do have one of those on, this gun is easy to conceal. Um, I'm not exactly small, about 210 pounds. Uh, but with that, I can, I can carry this pistol, you know, as long as you have a garment that you can cover over it. If you put a jacket or something on over top, it makes it even easier because then nobody ever knows that you have this pistol. Um, as far as shooting this gun, um, it shoots great. It's the the um, it is the custom two. Uh, it the round that I usually use in this thing for just planking or even carrying is the. 185 um, and the whole reason behind that is the ballistics behind it I like the I like the ballistics better personally with the 185s than I do with the 200s um, I do do use the uh, the hand loads that's what I use in it I'm gonna take this thing apart real quick if I can keep from launching this through my face Full length uh, guide in it in this one. I know a lot of people do or don't like them. I don't have any issues with it, so I've never replaced it. Uh, take down on this is typical 1911. Um, it is a match grade barrel. The uh, barrel on this pistol, I've used uh, some solid lead in it. Um, the only thing, obviously, is when you shoot the solid lead bullet, the cost is significant difference. Um, it's a lot cheaper 
but the thing you do get is you will get a uh, noticeable amount of fouling in the barrel. Um, you run some a good cleaning rod, cleaning solution through there. You can get all the fouling out of it. It's not a, it's not the hardest thing in the world to get done. The less that I shoot this pistol, um, the less likely I am to load the solid rounds or the, the lead bullets in it. The, uh, the gun itself, I mean, it, it, the sights on this thing is, if you hold it, um, it's the battle sight, the battle sights of the way that they say that they're set up according to Kimber. So if you want to hit this right here, you line it up to where that's where the bullet's going to go. The bullet, it, it, it isn't like a, you know, where you put it at the six o'clock hold and the bullet goes right above. It is wherever you put it is where the bullet is going. Um, with the the 185s, that's still pretty accurate. Um, it, it, I mean, I can shoot this gun out at the range uh, at the 25, 25 yards, I believe, is what the that pistol range is. 25 yard pistol range, it's not a problem. I mean, you can you can put the bullets exactly where you want to put them at. It is a 45, so it is fun to shoot. It's not the cheapest thing to shoot, but it is fun. It's a lot of fun to shoot. Uh, the uh, I did think about replacing the um, rubber grips with some uh, rosewoods. Uh, ordered some. I don't. I never even put them on the pistol. Uh, I got them out. Was fixing to, but I like the way these feel. I like the way they look. So I just left it with this. It is a good looking gun. It, it, the form and function, I've never had any problems at all with this thing. The one thing that, you know, it is a 1911, so if you don't maintain it, then there is the possibility that you might have issues with it. Uh, on my loads, on my hand loads, the one thing I did notice was, uh, depending on what powders I use, um, you do need to make sure that you do not run the minimum powder in it because it, it doesn't always um, cycle correctly. Now, uh, factory ammo, which is what these are right here. Uh, these are 185s is what these are. Um, on the factory ammo, I've, uh, when ammo was real hard to get about a year and a half ago, two years ago, I did have some issues with with uh, with rounds that that were failure to eject, um, and since you know production of ammunition has got easier to get a hold of, I don't have any problems with that. This is the factory mag that came with this pistol. It um, it is the newer follower, so it's the anti tilt. You cannot take the base plate off this um, on this factory mag, but you can press the spring, stick a screwdriver or something through there, and you can pull it out, and you can disassemble it and clean it. Um, if you have a 1911 and you've never cleaned your magazine, you might want to think about it, because that's usually the problem that stuff gets hung up in. Um, I do have some... Uh, grab these. I don't remember what brand they are. I think they're Wilson's. No, the Pro Mag. I've got some Pro Mag mags. Um, these are similar to the Glocks where you push the pin, pull the base plate off, and again, you can completely disassemble these, clean them. I've never had any problems with these locking back the slide. Um, I do keep them loaded at all times, and I keep these in my Miami, Miami holster. Um, and... Uh, Never had any issues at all. I dropped them in the dirt. They have been used and abused. Never had any problems with them. I've got two or I've got three of those that I purchased and I bought them. Um, but again, I've never had any problems with all of them. Um, but if you're looking for a 1911 that uh, 
is another column customs but uh, it is a good quality 1911 I've shot the uh, the SIGs I don't have any complaints about those I looked at the SIG when I got this one actually was it was between buying one of the SIGs or uh, I looked at the Ed Browns um, what are the other brands I was looking at the Ruger the Ruger I like the Ruger. I like the way it feels. I like the way it. Uh, I've shot them, um, but I wanted something that was a little more, a little higher end. So I went with the Kimber. Um, was it the right decision? I don't know. It's the one I made, but I am happy with what I got. I don't have any complaints at all. Uh, I probably will end up adding a. One of the Kimber 1911s, or not the Kimber, I'm sorry, the uh, the uh, Ruger 1911s. I probably will end up purchasing one of those and, and use it as well. The other Kimber that I looked at, and I actually tried to get it instead of this one, was the Raptor. And it has, uh, on the Raptor, instead of these serrations, it's, it, it feels like a snakeskin is what they feel like and it's got them on the front and the back and I did want the Raptor I wanted the stainless Raptor so it was a it's a two-tone uh, pistol the bottom on the this right here on this front is the same snakeskin pattern that's on the, the on the slide um, that's what I wanted they didn't have it available and it was gonna be like three months to wait on it so I'm not very patient, so I went ahead and got this one. Uh, the other one I looked at was the Pure Stainless um, and the Custom. Uh, it was the Custom custom TLE. It had the, the tritium sights on it. Um, the, the more I looked at the, the, the stainless, I decided that I'd be very happy with the, the blue. And then, then the finish on this gun is, like I said, it's... I do carry this gun in a holster. Um, I just carry it in my, and this is a, I can't remember the brand. DM Bullard is who makes these. He's a guy out of Azel. And uh, I really like this holster. I saw it at a, here it is, the NRA show down in Houston. And they had a whole bunch of them there. And there's several local places here that uh, carry the DM Bowler products and um, I purchased it and um, not too long after I got this DM Bowler I bought a the uh, Miami Classic it's a Galco is what it is and um, it does have the retention where you can snap it to your belt on the gun side or you can attach it to the the belt on the the magazine side so it uh, you don't get any real flopping around with it if you undo those straps or if you have a shirt tucked in and you're trying to wear it then if you if you run I guess it would flop around and it is a heavy gun so it might beat you a little bit but it's worth it uh, so if you're interested in a good quality 1911 and I know that there's some people that have one of them was a uh, James Yeager does not like 1911s and he's pretty outspoken about not liking 1911s but he actually did a video where Kimber sent him a 1911 and I think to everyone's amazement James Yeager did not have any complaints about the 1911 now 1911 is you know it was built and designed by John Browning, the great John Browning, and it was um, introduced in 1904, and it was adopted by the military in 1911, which is where it actually got the, 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 uh, the number. But the, it is a gun that, you know, when it was originally done, they were, I mean, they are kind of cantankerous. Um, if you're looking for a, a pistol that is not going to ever fail, 
You might want to look at something else. Depending on how clean you keep your pistol, you might or might not have any problems with it. I've never had any problems with this 1911. I know other people that have had problems with 1911s. Um, is it a gun that I would not hesitate to carry? I don't hesitate to carry it. As long as weather permits and it's not so freaking hot that you have to wear shorts or something. But but it's a great gun. I would I mean I would highly recommend it. There's a lot of people that really like 1911s. I do happen to be one of them. Um, I do have I do have Glocks. I like Glocks. Um, I've got uh, I've got the uh, a Beretta 92 FS that I'm a big fan of as well. Um, I don't shoot the 92 FS near as much as I used to when I first got it. Uh, that was the first pistol that I got. Um, and I got it because of the military. But the 1911 is a great gun. I mean, it's they're very attractive, I believe. Um, they feel good. They shoot good. It is a single action only. So if the hammer's not pulled, you don't push down the thumb safe or the the uh, grip safety. The gun will not go bang. Um, and some people I have been around people that shot this pistol. When they shot this pistol. They, it is a pretty low trigger pull on this one. I think it's two and a half, three pounds. Uh, when it goes off, I have had people accidentally discharge, discharge a second round out of this gun. So, um, but it's, I don't think that it's a gun that if you've never shot a pistol that you should go buy. Um, if you spend any time around pistols and you know if you shot enough and and you feel comfortable with yourself because you this gun is carried it is intended to be carried with the hammer back round in the chamber and the safety on so you do have to practice with this gun um, if you're going to be carrying it because you don't want to jerk it out and have the safety off and accidentally shoot yourself. There's a guy on the internet that did it. They shot himself in the freaking leg with it out of a Serpa holster. And uh, you can probably check up with him and see how he's uh, how much he enjoyed that. But the the 1911 is a great gun. Um, they're very attractive. It's like again I said, but they're they're beautiful weapons. Very beautiful weapons. And I don't think that. If you're a gun enthusiast, if you just like shooting them, uh, just shooting guns in general, you know, 45 puts a pretty big freaking hole and stuff, and they're fun to shoot. And they're, you know, other than the weight and the, the recoil can be, you know, a little overbearing for, for kids, and, and my wife's not very big. She's only about 100 pounds, but she doesn't really care for the 45 um, to shoot it, but it is a cool looking gun. Uh, it's uh, got a lot of history behind it, and they're fun. So, but I'll I'll get this thing out and do some uh, do some shooting with it, and uh, post that up on the internet as well. Uh, but they they are a lot of fun, and if uh, if it's something that you're you know have any interest in history behind them or whatever else, I would highly recommend them. And I would, you know, I've I've, I've been extremely pleased with my Kimber. I know a lot of guys that have them. Uh, I got no complaints either. Uh, so if you're interested and you're in the market for one, and I could, again, you can pick up cheaper pistols and there's a lot of knockoffs. There's a lot of Soviet models that are very similar to the, to the 1911 um, that are, and I have shot uh, a couple of those. The form and function of them is the basic the same some of them don't have the the grip safety on them um, and they do make some 40 some 1911s that are in a nine millimeter camera makes uh, um, this is a five inch but it's it shoots the nine millimeter but I like the 45 so if I'm gonna get one I'm gonna get the 45 if I was gonna get another one I'd get the 45 uh, but it is a great gun it's a it's a lot of fun 
Plus that forty five I figure shit if you hit somebody with it. They're probably not gonna run very far. Especially if you hit them in the right spot, they're not going anywhere. Um, it is a lower capacity on the magazine. This is a flush mount. Um, it does not stick out of the magazine well. Um, but I do have, when I carry my uh, Miami uh, holster, it does have two additional mags that go in it. So I've always got magazines with me. Um, even if I carry this gun in this Diambolo holster, I usually have a mag. I usually have a couple of mags in my truck. I have a couple in the car. Um, depending on what I'm doing at the time, I might have an extra mag, maybe one, two in a pocket. Um, but so the, the magazine capacity, some people say, well, that, man, that's a, you know, that's a big deal. That's a big problem for me. I don't like that. Well, I don't go places where people are trying to kill me. I carry a gun because I want to protect my myself, my family, and uh, you know if there's a situation that I feel threatened, then then I wouldn't hesitate to use it. I've never been in a situation like that, and hopefully never get in a situation like that. But I would not hesitate to to use use a firearm to protect myself or my my loved ones or anyone else that was around that was in possible danger. So yeah, so I'd recommend it. Uh, it's a good gun. Good solid build. It is uh, all steel parts in it. The trigger does have a adjustment take up screw on it. Um, when I first bought this gun, I did adjust that and it wasn't because the trigger was bad. It was just after I shot it quite a few times, I did want to reduce that take up. Take up the case though. Reduce that right there because it was a little bit more than what what it was when I first purchased it. And uh, again, it was after I put I don't know how many rounds through it. I put a lot of ammo through this pistol right after I bought it because it is fun to shoot. So, but and I'll do like I said, I'll do some videos of uh, shooting this thing. Most of what I shoot with it is the I do a lot of paper shooting out at the range. Um, we've got some property and. Uh, it's always fun to shoot steel. If you're watching, there's a lot of guys on the internet shooting it. And, and the steel targets that I use are from uh, shoot7.com, I believe. I'll put a thing in the link. I'll put a link down below. Um, but again, I would recommend these. The, the bluing is held up extremely well. This gun, like I said, I've had it four or five years uh, during the winter colder months and even during the summer if I'm out on the property I do carry this in a holster um, and it you know getting in and out of the range or getting out of the truck it might get banged around a little bit but the gun is I mean it's held up extremely well there are maybe a few minor scratches on it there's some wear around the uh, grip safety just from where it rubs when you push it in and out but other than that I mean there's no indications of anything abuse or otherwise neglect on this pistol um, it is all steel it is texas that i live in and it does get hot and i sweat so after i wear this pistol i do bring it home i might not do it that night but the next day i take it completely apart break it down and i clean the crap out of it um, i've never had any rust or anything get on it probably because i do clean it but uh, but it does, it's a, it's a really good gun. I have had it in the rain inadvertently. And uh, I mean, sometimes you do get caught in a storm, but it, uh, it held up good. It's a, it's a great gun, I really enjoy it. And uh, that's all I got to say about that. So thank you for watching and uh, comment below, subscribe, whatever you want to do, let me know. And I'll put some videos of this shooting some stuff and uh